32-year-old Keisha Young works from home and is married with four beautiful children, but her life came to a screeching halt while on vacation in Florida in 2009. That morning I woke up with like terrible pains in my stomach and I'm like, what is going on? At home, her doctor immediately ordered a colonoscopy. So of course we had to wait for the biopsy to come back. And once it came back, uh, they let me know that I had cancer. It was aggressive and we needed to act fast. Keisha, who had married her sweetheart three years ago, was now fighting for her life. Chemo, radiation, surgery, followed by another round of chemo. It was challenging, but, you know, my grandmother and my family were prayers, and we believe in, in the Lord, and, you know, I, I always tell people I'm in a fight to save my life. So whatever I had to do is what I was willing to do at that time. Colonoscopies are routine for those 50 and over. But for those exhibiting symptoms like Keisha, or those like Paula Johnson who have a family history of colon cancer, screenings take place earlier. Paula fasted the day before the procedure and took the prep to remove waste from her colon. The colonoscopy itself took only 20 minutes. Using a flexible tube with a tiny lighting camera, Dr. Martin Mark inserts the device to the end of Paula's colon. Looking for polyps and uh, polyps are the precursor to cancer. You have to look under every nook and cranny to make sure there's no polyps. Colonoscopy is a pretty painstaking procedure. You have to be pretty methodical and pretty compulsive and take your time. If Dr. Mark had found any polyps, they would have been removed, theoretically preventing any precancerous polyps from growing. Uh, so this is good news for this lady. This is very good news. This is a, this is a normal colonoscopy. Uh, no polyps seen on this procedure. Um, and while Paula wakes up in recovery feeling no discomfort, Dr. Mark explains why colonoscopies are so important. There's 6% incidence of colon cancer in the nation. In other words, there's 150,000 cases a year and there's about 55,000 deaths a year. So it's a second leading uh, cause of uh, cancer death. And he knows for a fact that he's making a difference. And the data is so clear that doing these procedures, and we're saving lives every day, that's an amazing feeling, going in finding these big polyps you know are going to be cancer and taking them off. And you've actually prevented someone from getting cancer. So it makes it worthwhile coming to work here every day. <laughs> but when the outcome is not so positive. Hi, my name's Karen Allen, and I'm the nurse navigator. Norton Healthcare's Karen Allen works with new cancer patients to help them most effectively deal with their cancer. When she's not counseling patients, she's out spreading the word about colon cancer, how to catch it early, and possibly avoid colon cancer treatment. Well, some of the basic classic symptoms are blood in the stool, change in bowel habit, uh, abdominal pain and cramping, and sometimes back pain can also occur with that. And sometimes there are no symptoms at all, which is why Alan recommends reducing our colon cancer risk by living a healthier lifestyle. Eat a mostly a plant-based diet, limit your red meat, limit your processed meat. Uh, maintain a healthy weight your entire life because obesity is linked to cancers, all sorts of cancers. And then the last one is to exercise 30 minutes a day. And Keisha Young says preventing colon cancer is a whole lot easier than fighting it. Keisha's advice, listen to your body, change your lifestyle, and get that colonoscopy. I, I live my life like it ain't no tomorrow. You know, it's certain things that I would do, I would be like, no, we can't do that. But I do whatever I feel like that I want to do. I do it because I know tomorrow's not promised.